Hey guys, it's Miss Klingsick. So this video is going to be showing you how to log into Schoology. So our district, College Station ISD, uh, pays for the platform of Schoology. And so if you are someone who's not part of the district and you're watching this video, it may look a little bit different. Um, but for my students and my parents, this is going to help you guys. So I'm going to start by showing you as a student how to log in. And then parents, I will then show you how to log in. So we'll start with students. Um, so you'll just need to go to any internet, your phone, your tablet, your computer, your laptop, whatever, um, and go to um, internet. I'm using Chrome. And you're going to type in College Station Schoology. So again, that's College Station Schoology. And if you push enter, the first thing, which is CSISD, dot schoology dot com is where you're going to want to go so you'll click on that and it's going to bring you to this page that's mr k's login and it should say college station isd right here um if it doesn't then go back and choose the one that says csisd dot schoology dot com this thing right here um because you need to make sure that you're using our district's uh, platform that we're using so from here, you're going to type in your 1000 number here. So whatever your 1000 number is for logging in the computer, this is what you're going to type in here. If you don't know what your 1000 number is, have your parents contact me and then I will um, send that to them. So that's your username. Your password is going to be the password you use for when you log into the computer. So it's actually the exact same login that you use for the computer. So 1000 number is your username. Password is going to be your um, password that you normally use to get on the computer. So you're going to type those in. And then once you're logged in, this is what it's going to bring you to. So these are all the courses that you're in. My class is going to say Language Arts with Miss K. Um, if you are in Miss Wallace's homeroom class, it's going to be this green one. If you're in my homeroom class, it's going to be a yellow one. Um, so you'll click on that course. And then from here, we're gonna have different folders. Um, the folder we're gonna be using um, for the week after spring break is gonna be right here. But any time other time of the year, um, you'll use these, okay? And that is how you log in as a student. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna show parents how you can log in. Now this is for if you have never logged into Schoology for your student so far. Um, if you have already logged in, then you're gonna log in just like the students did. Um, except that you will not have a 1000 number. You're actually going to have your email as your login and then whatever password you set. Okay, so you're going to go on any internet browser. You're going to go to Schoology. You just need to go to regular old Schoology. And again, this is for if you have not signed up for before. So you're going to go to Schoology and you're going to click sign up. And you're going to go to parent. Now, here is where you're going to have an access code. So if you have never logged in, um, you need to email me first, and then I can give you an access code. This access code is going to be um, like a couple of letters and numbers. It's really long. Just copy and paste it and put it right here. This is your specific child's code. So when you put this code in, it's going to directly attach your account to your student's account. And then from there, once you put in the access code, I don't have an access code, so I can't put one in. But when you put this in, you'll push continue, and then it will have you set up an account. Once you've logged in um, and you go to your student's profile, which I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so once you log in, um, you will bring you to a page that looks like this or looks like this kind of depends on which one. Um, but if you don't see your students' classes, you can click on your name and then underneath will be your child's name. Click on your child's name and then what that is, is it will look exactly like your student's profile, but it will be where you can just look and see everything, where your child can actually submit assignments and they can, um, let me go back to this page, can submit assignments and comment. You can't do that, but you can still see everything that is posted. Um, and so that's why it's really important that you get this access code because then your account will pretty much mirror your child's account. Um, but again, if you don't have that access code, please contact me and I can send it to you. All right, well, hopefully that's helpful in showing you how to log into Schoology. Um, if you need any help, please feel free to comment below or you can email me um, through email. All right, thanks guys, bye-bye.